should investors look at a new normal of portfolio returns going forward? You know, eight to ten percent for stock market returns going back forever. Is that history? It's history. And I say that unequivocally uh, because when you do the data, and it all comes down to the data, the long term return on common stocks, that 100 year number that we look at, or 115 year number that we look at, is uh, the dividend yields were four and a half percent, and earnings growth was four and a half percent. That's where the nine percent return comes from. Dividend yields today are two percent. That is a two and a half percent dead weight loss when you look back in the future. So the dividend yield has improved, got down to one percent in the great uh, bubble of 2000, 1999, 2000, but it's two percent now, and there's there's no question that you can't make it up with earnings growth because 4.5% is probably a pretty ambitious target for future earnings growth of our corporations. So what does that mean, future returns on the stock market annually for investors? Well, I, I, my, my simple way of looking at it, and I'll, I'll modify this for a minute, is to say the dividend yield is 2%. The earnings growth might be, let's say, uh, 5%. That's a 7% return on stocks compared to the 9% that we've had historically. Now, there is one other factor that goes into this and that is an investor's valuations of stock. Will they pay 20 times earnings? Will they pay 40 times earnings as they did? I think the answer to that is no. Or will they decide to pay 10 times earnings, which would make this market drop by 50%? Just investors' emotions. I don't think it would stay there very long, and I'm not looking for a 50% decline. And I don't think the market is particularly overvalued as long as people understand to when they're planning for their future retirement uh, to think more in terms of 7% for the equity portion, maybe 3% for the bond portion, and that's a 5% portfolio return for a balanced portfolio. That's kind of the, the closest we can come to reasonable expectations.